Sarah Bull, and I'm here on another Thursday on the Five Awesome Optimist channel. I'm going to continue to talk a little bit about my life, what's going on. I am doing VBS this week, which is Vacation Bible School at my church, and I am a leader. I'm actually in charge of the skits, and uh, it's been a blast. I haven't done VBS since high school, and so it's amazing that I can finally get back into this sort of thing, and I really, really like it. Monday, the theme was France, and I actually was a mime with another little boy. I have a little clip of me with my mime makeup on, but it's nothing fancy. But yeah, that whole night, Treg and I walked around his mimes, and we had our little skits. We did the box, we did the rope, we did the balls, and um, it was just a blast. And all the kids, I think, really liked the mime. I was kind of surprised because I thought they'd be a little bit scared, like maybe scared of our makeup or something, but they were totally into it, so that was really cool. Tuesday, the theme was Africa. I did a speech for everyone talking about African facts and how they live and how different it is from Americans. And actually, I want to um, talk to you a little bit about this. Um, I don't know if you know anything about how Africans live, but it is pretty crazy. And we here in America definitely take things for granted. And um, we don't realize how great we have it here. There is tons of children and people in Africa suffering because they don't have clean water, because they don't have food, they don't have very much money, and they don't have the education or health uh, programs that we have here. So there's tons of children that are starving and that die from AIDS and malaria and they just don't have, you know, the kind of support and uh, food and water that we have here and it's really sad to think about. I was telling the story to all the kids. There's about a hundred kids that come that are that have come to VBS and their mouths just dropped. The average African lives to be forty one years old and I saw this little kid in the front that was like <laughs> but it's it's sad. I mean it's sad to think how different it is and how we just kinda like waste food and water every day and we don't even realize that people in Africa would die to have that. Um, and they are literally dying because they don't have that. I want to ask you guys, what are you thankful for? If there was one thing that you could not live without, um, what would that be and why are you thankful for that? This message is just to kind of tell you guys to... Um, be very thankful for what you have because even though you may think that you're having a hard time or that things are not the best for you right now, there's a lot of people that are in worse conditions. So we should really be fortunate for the things that we do have. I hope you guys have a very optimistic day. I will see you next Thursday. Turn that TV off, leave your MacBook a go. YouTube.com slash Sarah Bull. Comment, rate, and favorite. There's no need to bid. Hit the subscribe button. You'll be glad you did. Also, Tony is back. Woo! Tony's back! We've missed him so much, and he's been all over the place in Europe. I've been to Europe twice, and it is remarkable. Um, those of you that live in Europe, wow, you guys have so many beautiful things around you. So I can't wait to hear from Tony how it's going, and welcome back, Tony.